What's up, YouTube? This your main man, AB the Hero, back again with a, another video. And as you can see, we are on the new channel. So, we had to create a new channel, man. The other day, we got blessed with this opportunity. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm halfway excited about it. Um definitely was not my choice uh the powers that be the man decided that i had to do this and uh it, it's kind of one of those super weird things where i'm, I'm kind of not 100 percent sure why it happened it's really not a a really good really 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 good explanation i kind of like have an ideal but i think that what i think it is um and the timing of it just don't make sense so I'm waiting to like fully hear like what folks got to tell me about this before I like say this is what it is. I don't want to give anybody credit for something that they, you know what I'm saying? For I don't want to give anybody credit they don't deserve, you know what I'm saying? But I will say that to me, I wanted to go ahead and start this one, share some content and get it rolling. Cuz I look at it like this worst case best case scenario, they hit me up and say, "Look, we made a mistake. We shouldn't have done that. And then I've already started this one. So then I'll start moving content and, and really trying to figure out better ways. Cause I got a ton of ideas of, of like having content live in different places and, and figuring out how to navigate both channels. Worst case scenario, they say, look, yeah, we did what we did and, and ain't nothing you could do about it. And then we still have to just live over here. And which I'm cool with as well I feel like I, I've had that last channel for a long time like since the beginning of YouTube nine years almost and since my first time on YouTube and with that channel man there's been a ton of content all over the place cartoons uh, sports content just like action of me playing ball um, which is kind of crazy cuz I don't I need to I don't know if I have that anywhere else so like I can't even access it at the moment so like that that kind of stuff and so but I will say that over the last like year two years of, of really creating content and focusing on being a youtuber like I just feel like I learned so much so I'm kind of excited about the challenge and the opportunity to have to like take what I learned over that long period of time and then like apply it to this new channel and see if I can like have greater growth or at least the same amount of growth like or in, in a shorter period of time type of thing. So it's just I feel like it's a, a cool challenge, man. And uh, I don't know. So I think that that's partly why it just really didn't. It, I'm not too upset about it, to be honest. Um, I think that it really did put some stuff in perspective of just like ownership, you know what I'm saying? And like how you can create all of this content, you can do this, but like this there's so much importance in having the platform right of like realistically in the terms conditions and fine print it says like yo we can at any time we deem for any reason we deem like we don't need a good reason we can shut your stuff down nigga. we can give you an opportunity to create something new and uh to to start over and like to me that's kind of crazy like so so I, I really want to at least make sure I'm sharing this content to multiple platforms, you know what I mean? So if something crazy happens, like I can still have this content living in places where people can get it because to me at the end of the day, that's why you make the content. Uh, so you can express some information, some ideals and people can consume it. So that, that to me, that's really what it's about. And uh, I'll tell you this, other thing that I, I kind of picked up on this thing too and this is interesting like I, I'm like one of those guys who like I, I kind of believe in like signs like intuition like omens um things happen for a reason like all of that stuff right and so the I got this I, I'm gonna call it this blessing to create another channel like I got notified of this like last Wednesday right or like a couple days two days ago Wednesday and earlier that day right I was at the house and I was editing these videos right and 
I've been kind of inspired as far as creativity, as far as content creation goes lately. So like there's this video, all this footage that I had from like last August when me and my brother and one of my best friends, we took a, a trip to Boston and I wanted to vlog, but like, and I, I didn't have my rail camera, I just had my phone. And one of the cool things that we did is we asked a ton of folks, not a ton, asked a few people around to just give us some life advice, words of wisdom, whatever you got, right? And so up until like last Wednesday, I had messed with it, but I really had no inspiration or like ideal of how I wanted to put it together. So Wednesday, I started like, I just got in the flow. I started putting it together. And then, uh, so just like kind of clips, montages, and then interspliced with this wisdom that folks was dropping. And then like that, I had to stop to go pick up my son. Then I had these work events from Thursday to Friday so like I've been gone from my house since Wednesday to uh today and then so as I left Wednesday I went to pick up my son that's when I got these emails saying hey you know what I'm saying you got this opportunity to start over and then I it really didn't bother me at all right and then I like called my my lady up my lady friend I let her know I was like yo this just happened and she was like, yo, I'm surprised you're not, like, freaking out about this, right? And and I was like, yeah, yeah, like, I, I'm kind of excited. Like, it's not that crazy. And and then I realized, so today I got back to my computer, right? And I was going through looking at the edit from the Boston clips. And one of the dudes, like, his advice, and it was this older guy. He, like, was talking to his son as we, we went to Harvard campus. And he's walking through campus and we can hear him giving advice to his son, right? And we like, yo, this is Harvard, so obviously somebody out here going to have some wisdom. So we're listening to him talk to his little son. He's like 12 years old or something like that. And and then we stop him. And then once he stops, we get like, yo, we heard you giving this wisdom. This is what we're doing. Could you share it with us, right? And like, so he was like, okay, he got excited. Like, yeah, I'll tell you. So he's gave us a, a, a bunch of cool quotes, you know what I'm saying, just about being, you know, good on the inside, outside, um, like, I, just a lot, right, but so as I was listening to it, man, I realized that one of the things that he talked about was, he, he asked my homeboy, he said, yo, you own a house, and my homeboy was like, yeah, and he said, uh, well, one day your boiler gonna blow up, you know what I'm saying? He's like, one day you're going to be driving and your tire going to go flat. And this bad thing is going to happen. That bad thing is going to happen. You're not going to have the money to, like, fix it in this. And then you're going to have to figure out a way to make it work. And then he's like, in that opportunity, in that moment, is going to be something that helps you grow, helps you become stronger, and helps you, like, uh, just that experience is going to make you a better person, right? And he's like, so... When things like that happen, you shouldn't be the person who is like, oh my God, like my tire bus. Oh my God, this terrible thing just happened to me. Oh, I'm down on myself. And it's like, no, take it as an opportunity, man, to, to, to grow and to understand that this is going to help you, right? Because if you can figure out life when times are hard, when it's easy, it's like cutting butter. You feel me? It's, it should be a cakewalk. And and that that's kind of I I, re, I listened to that again today and I realized that me having like that little bit of inspiration Wednesday morning to like go through that video and hear those words of advice and even though I probably wasn't like I'll admit I wasn't like consciously thinking of that when I like read these emails with this great opportunity in them but like I feel like that was already like embedded kind of in my spirit on the day so when it hit me it wasn't like oh my goodness i'm about to get on here and cry and do a video about how i'm losing it nah it wasn't like that i was like yo son this is bad shit happen like you know what i mean and you got to figure things out so so i feel like those are the things that i took man away from this man it really pushed me and and made me think of like yo you need to figure out ways to to make sure your content and the things that you're creating like are completely owned and operated and, and shared by you so that's something i'm thinking about and then also man it just like really pushed this idea of man this opportunity to like see what we can do you know what i mean if it took me 
eight or nine years to to get the five thousand subscribers that I had. How fast? Like what? 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 How can I utilize that information that I have for that? And then you know what I'm saying, make that happen quicker this time. So all of that, man. That's that's just kind of where it's at. And I'll tell you this: whenever I feel like, whenever I get all of the details and the of like what actually transpired and what happened, then like. I will like I'll definitely share you know what I'm saying but I, I'm waiting to to really figure out what happened and like if this is going to be rectified before like I like throw people underneath the bus or like spill all of those beans and uh but like I'm saying like and also man I want to open the opportunity too man because I feel like I, I've kind of learned so many things from this YouTube stuff man so if you are interested in starting your own thing and you like got some questions or some advice, man, I want to like, you know what I'm saying, be a resource, you know what I mean? And then also, uh, I've been working and adjusting like my whole creative space and what other things that I want to do more often is the live streams and, and then that way so we can share and I could talk about the things that I typically talk about, but then also have more conversation and, and kind of just parlay and talk about everything so that's some stuff that I'm, I'm working on and then also man collaborating with folks who kind of in the same niche and kind of talking about the same stuff and and all of that stuff man so be on the lookout this your main man abd hero i'm out peace